don't really do many introductions in airports because we don't really launch kayaks in airports. But uh, myself and the saltwater sportsman team are headed out to Costa Rica. So this is step one, getting there. We've got Nate, editor of saltwater sportsman with me. And uh, hopefully we're going to take our kayaks out to Crocodile Bay right now and have a great time. Well, they've got the kayaks there waiting for us. Yeah. Fortunately, we have to take them on the plane with us. All right, Costa Rica, we've arrived. I have a recurring nightmare of these rod tubes coming back folded every time into like a V-shape. <laughs> it's my excited face. I think it's actually a real excited face. Oh! Uh oh! All right, we have the crew together. This is like the four man's Avengers. But <laughs> Nate, John, Phil, Ryan Mori. What did he forget his name? <laughs> <laughs> and Meg the camera woman. But yeah, it's gonna be a good time. <laughs> I hope my rods are gonna make it. I had a seven foot two fishing rod, and now I'm, uh, well, apparently that wouldn't clear the plane. So that might get taken off part, and those rods might be flying solo. So we'll see what a tackle I end up using. It's always got to be something, but that's not the worst thing to happen. That's the worst thing that happens. It's a great trip, but you're supposed to see the, the stressful sides of it. And if that's stressful, that's not bad at all. This is your smallest plane ride, Vic? Yes. It is. <laughs> How long is the flight? 50 minutes. 50. Okay. Very good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yes. Thanks, a camera person. And we'll see you in Crocodile Bay, man. Costa Rica. Never fished there, so I don't know. I'm gonna try to keep it as real as I can. Challenges, broken rods, lost spinning reels, and good times, so. None of that has happened yet. None of that's happened yet. Same thing with the Kubera snappers. They're actually not protected by law, but we like to protect them here at Krakenau Bay. I'm sure you guys know they're the biggest growing snapper, but they're also the slowest growing snapper. So, you know, we'd rather keep them alive and keep reproducing and stuff. Actually, I just found out not too long ago that they start reproducing at 17 years old. So that means wow. about 20 pound fish haven't even reproduced yet. So for the offshore, the only species that are protected is the billfish. And what I mean by billfish is the sailfish and the marlin. They are protected. And in Costa Rica, we can no longer take them out of the water. Everyone's on their phones already. This is embarrassing. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> you caught. Okay, She's not. You wanna like talk? I could talk. <laughs> so we just rigged up a fish rider on the, uh, my native. Got Diego in charge with all the fishing operation, right? Yes, sir. So we're taking the kayaks on a mothership. He's got a cool idea. About 20 miles? We're gonna run about 15, 20 miles. And we're gonna get out some pretty cool fish, I hope. So first time for all of us to do this. So I'm excited. And Diego's excited. Let's to go. Do it. Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> Alright, we're out of here. We're gonna we pull are. to a wreck right now. 
divvying up some water. Got this one. All right, let's get going. A little bumpy. Let's try this guy here. It doesn't look too heavy, so. This look like amberjacks or something like that. I saw them follow it down. I saw the midwater column. They followed the jig down and he bit on the bottom. That was my only bite. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Nate. I think that's what I was marking mostly is those Benita. Though. I think that's what it was. But yeah, that's Bonita. All right, next spot. Everyone, the group, the gang's back together. We're fishing a, a ledge right here. Trying to find a couple fish here. Should be able to. All right, just let. Nice and slow, let's go around this corner. I think it should, should be a little bit calmer right where that boat is and where Nate is already. <gasps> oh no. I think it's Jack. Is that what this is? <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's fast. <laughs> is it Bonita again? Oh, big mackerel. <gasps> what is it? Barracuda. Oh. Oh. Surprised I had him on for that long, even. Barracuda. Pulled the hook on a pretty good sized barracuda there. Actually broke him off. I'm surprised I even had him on that long after you know hooking him on a single hook like that. But that was pretty cool. Let's see what else we can find here. Ooh, trigger fish. Let's go. Let's go to Nate. He's found something. I was fishing this little tiny half ounce jig head, little bass assassin. I started retrieving it faster to bring it back in and I saw a huge red flash following it. So I just free spooled it, dropped it back down. I set the hook. Ah, and look at the size of that fish, huh? Oh, 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 oh. He came out of nowhere, he smashed me. He rocked me up and somehow I was able to get him out of the rocks. I've only got 20 pound test fluorocarbon leader on here, 20 pound test braid. I'm using this tiny little spinning rod like a 2500 series pen authority reel look at that man beautiful kubera snapper yeah i thought for sure i was gonna lose that fish <laughs> no fish finder all right well we're gonna let him go i'm gonna see oh it's just barely hooked look at that almost made the tiny little jig here come closer you gotta take a look at these teeth real quick because he's got some some chompers Ready? Get a close look at his face. Look at that. Yeah. All right, we're gonna <laughs> let him go. Oh, and there he goes. Oh my God, ah, incredible. Costa Rica accomplished. Yeah, I'm rigging up zoom. I'm going zoom fluking right now. We're using a half ounce jig. All right, 
I'm going to zoom fluking then. What's that? You saw one? Bucket list, bucket list, bucket list. Mugged them, mugged them, Elias. We mugged them, Elias. We fishing stuff. Good fish. Bluefin. Bluefin Trevally. No way. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh. We keep these, right? Uh, I think he said that we eat them. Uh, You're good. Wow. I think he said these ones we keep. You want to, you got your radio? Ask him, yeah. Ask Diego if we keep the Bluefin Trevally. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> Not big, but man, that's a cool fish. <laughs> well, I guess I'll release them then. Because we're not sure if we keep these here. Let's just get them back in the water. Maybe we'll get another one. That was cool. I like that fish. <laughs> that was a cool fish. What did you get yours on? A uh, Zoom fluke also? Uh, curly tail. It's like a little like, curly tail bass. I caught a grouper. No, I just wanted to video it. I caught a grouper. Right, that was tough. I mean, that was kind of the first first go at this. Lost a really nice barracuda. I mean, he was probably about yay big. Um, got a blue, my first bluefin trevally. They got a big Kubera snapper. You know, a lot of experimenting. It seems like the structures where we can get our kayaks up against seems to always be a, a good move. But we learned a lot today, so. I think we got a better game plan what to try to do tomorrow is try to hit a lot of these sorts of spots and give it a go tomorrow like that. Day two. <laughs> All right, so we're kind of speculating what that dog might be hunting because it looked like he was trying to hunt something, so. If you have any ideas, comment in the video's description that. I'm curious, what would a dog be hunting in a, in a lagoon here in Costa Rica? Like, what is the, is it a mammal that they're hunting for? Snakes. Snakes? Oh my gosh, look at him. He's definitely like... What you gonna get, little puppy? So that's Crocodile Bay. Um, it's fun. We're taking the kayaks, which are down there right now. Uh, you can come out here and do the boat fishing stuff too. We might do that tomorrow. We're gonna see how kayak fishing goes today. Uh, you could win a trip to Crocodile Bay for seven days. Just click the link in the video's description. Um, they're giving away a trip for two people, which is awesome. This is a cool place. Um, it's got a lot of activities. We're probably just focusing on the fishing, but it's like cool for families. The food's been really good. Maybe we'll show a little bit, maybe catch and cook tonight. Day one was tough, man, so uh, we're gonna learn a lot. We hopefully learned a lot from day one, and hopefully today we can have a much better day of fishing. So really big thanks to Saltwater Sportsman getting us out here to do this stuff and trying our own way, like a little of our own twist, um, to see like just different things to do that are kind of fun and a little more unique. So I'm enjoying the experience. It's, you know, we're taking a more difficult take of it, but you know, that's part of the fun too. So, all right, day two, we're gonna get on that that boat right now and uh, see what we can do.
you want to uh, keep the cold? What's that? No, that's not too hot. Right. Okay. All right. I got it. Good. Yep. These boys is crazy. My brain checks it. Uh, what's the other option? <laughs> Goes from 60 to 48. Woo. Wow. <laughs> Nothing big. I don't think so. Oh, it's big. Oh, yeah, son. Big. On the drop? Yeah. <laughs> I hooked up already. First drop. Drop? Oh, he's on there. What happened there? It wasn't that bit. That was something else. Oh, he got attacked on. Oh my goodness. Barracuda must have grabbed him. So you had him on. He ate on the drop. Whoa. Yeah, because that was not. I know. Dang! That's one of those yellow snappers. Yeah. Why well, there? <laughs> Hi. You gonna come with me? with the zoom fluke. I don't know what Nate's got tied on here. You got something. It's a crazy looking grouper. You get one of these yet? Get one of these speckled. He's all speckled, speckled grouper look like. That's a pretty cool looking fish. It's like a cross between a triple tail and a grouper. Did Nate get one of those today? He looks kind of like a triple tail. Mixed with a, a grouper. Yeah. Oh, you did get one. Well, I got one that was a lot different color than that. Yeah. That's cool. It was like white, black, and yellow. Is it two turtles? Oh, ho. oh my God. Still on the line? No. Oh, I've had to have that happen. 
a very long time. I think it got damaged in the flight because I got damaged in the flight for sure. Because that rod tip was gone and now it popped in the. That sucked. Yeah. It was a good fish too. Broke a rod, man. I haven't done that in a while. I think I damaged it on transport, man. That was definitely a good fish. So, on a day like today where it was a grind, busting a rod, I feel dumb. But let's see uh, what we can do tomorrow. It's embarrassing. That's the truth sometimes, how it goes down. <laughs> wow, I can see him so far back there. That's so cool. Yeah, that one good bite. I think I broke the rod and transport. Something happened wrong, went wrong there as I, from one plane to another. So I added another damage guide and another rod. So I think, um, you know, it kind of sucks when that fish might count for the day. And I think that's what happened to me today. I had one bite that counted. I think tomorrow the move is going to be to jump on the boat. The other guys had some sailfish today. So let's see. I've caught sailfish before, but I've never got a big elephant tuna. I mean, I've heard they're around, so we'll see what we can do tomorrow. We're going to take a shower and see what happens to it, you know, later. Beautiful place, lots of wildlife. We saw turtles, whales, dolphins, birds. <laughs> this is day three. Um, jumping on the boat today. Trolling's quiet, my favorite thing to do. Trying all the food, but ooh, this is a harder one. Different cookie, I think, today. All right. These are great, man. All right, so we need these birds to start working for the tuna there. That's what we need. Let me up here. <laughs> oh. Slippery. <laughs> Can't stand up and bite him up here. <laughs> That's better. Perfect spot for me. Yeah. 
guess this rod would have broke by now at least. <laughs> it got damaged in the flight too. Got one thing going for me. Yeah, it's a good fish. Oh, it's going right up the yeah. Did you take the popper? What's that? Did you eat the popper? Yeah. This rod's got a little bit of a softer tip, but sorry, Nate. That's okay. You need some heavier, some stronger hook sets. We got room for a little mistake or two. Biggest one for a popper for I've gotten so far. And, uh, used a 4500 pen reel. Yeah, these jigging world poppers seem to work real well. They work well in Panama. Just got to get a little, got to you know sink your arms into the fish. No noodle arms. But yeah, that's my biggest tuna on a popper, a yellowfin on a popper. So that's cool. We're gonna get a couple photos and then we're gonna eat this fish. So glad we got something out of the, out of all that work we put into this game. So. Adrian here, the mate's got a real big one on too. He was throwing a live bait in that. And uh, we won't talk about Nate's fish in the mix there. <laughs> See, I could have taken that rod and pretended it was mine. They really do a good job. It ju I mean, they brain spiked them and they're, you know, do the tail cut, got them, get all that blood out because we're going to eat them as a, as a little sashimi. All right, Nate's going with the crippled herring there. See any of that? Did you see any? Uh, no. All right, there's a pen slammer 4500, slammer three. There's 40 pound. It's 
spider wire ultra cast on here i like these rods a lot they're a little softer um if you're not used to them but they're incredibly strong uh jigging world rods this is the black widow i mean you can pretzel these over pretty hard put a lot of pressure on them they got that that slow pitch action but stick the fish good you'll, you'll be okay it's time for some pineapple Catch one of these? Yeah, I don't know if I can do that though. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> Crocodile Bay, Costa Rica. You want to do this? Sign up for a sport fishing expedition. They're coming back here in November. They got 16 slots. Tuna fishing is off the hook. Spinner dolphins everywhere. Birds diving and screaming. Mountains in the background. And it probably won't be quite as hot. Yes, I did. I got some good stuff. I nice. hope. That's the Cuberas over there down of the dock. Yeah, Ooh, that was fun. Mm. Gotta be quick. I can't believe it's like fishy. She said 15 pounds. <laughs> oh! Oh into the camera. I better hold on tight for the oh, oh. <laughs> You better hold it Dude, tight. I am holding it tight. The Kibera wants it. Look at him. Alright, well, we're gonna head over to the kitchen here at Crocodile Bay, where they have that yellowfin tuna that they're gonna slice up and show us what they're gonna do with it. So it's exciting. I haven't had same day yellowfin tuna before. At least not that I know of. Hi. Uh, uh, we're going to do a segment with the yellowfin tuna. Yes. Cut it up and <laughs> my wife, Marty. Hi. So, we can give us just like five minutes or so have everything ready for the preparation. Okay. Take your yeah. time. We're yeah. All right, this is yeah. uh, Chef Esteban. Head Chef Esteban. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Head Chef at Crocodile Bay.
what are you working on there? Is that a salt brine? So I'm making like a cold pan for the belly. Okay. So uh, what I'll do is I'll put some salt in the water. Then I'll be making a, like a soy bath after. And then I take it on the on the grill, put it on the outside, and do it like a, like a tataki. Mm -hmm. so tataki style with. Uh, and I'll prepare it for for your dinner. Oh, cool. Hmm. So that's that's what, what I'm making here. Leave it there for like 10 minutes, and then in a soy sauce for another 10 minutes. Okay. Cool. So the salt brine firms it up, that's the, the purpose of it? Yes, and um, kills uh, a little bit of uh, the bacteria okay. too. I gotta be honest, I'm trying something here that I haven't tried before. That's fun. That's great. Yeah, so hmm. I hope it <laughs> oh yeah. We don't want to cook it, we just want the flavor and to change the color so it looks uh, prettier on the on the plate. And it gives a different taste, texture, and flavor with the, with the flames, with the open flames. Look, just at home you could do it with a propane torch, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yes. The thing but. is that this one is because it has charcoal a little bit under, mm -hmm. so it gives a little bit more uh, yeah. flavor and aroma. Yeah, okay. But yeah, you can do it definitely with just a, with a torch. So the rice goes in there, and it's gonna fry it, like fry an air fry, it. like an air fry. Yeah. yeah. So we have two different ones here. It's, this one is coriander, and this one is the mustard. We have some soy reduction, um, like a onion uh, jam, and some uh, sesame seeds uh, toasted, or just to release the extra flavor. And this is mayo wasabi. This mayonnaise with wasabi paste. Wow. So this is about textures, uh, so the end, like almost getting into the tail, has a lot of fibers. Uh, so I'm taking out of all the, the, the meat without the, the fibers uh, to mix it with some um, uh, spicy uh, sriracha and mayo and um, and Guchu, Guchu Gan sauce. Ooh, it worked.
this is your first time trying this sort of dish over here, right? Yes. Good. I can't wait. You want to try it first? Mm, please go ahead, please. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've had yellowfin toro in oh, so long, also. So really? It's been at least five, six years. So. Well, it's very fresh. I hope yeah. yeah. All right. Morning. Yep. Let me try it. I'll try the new creation first. Good. Yeah. <laughs> that is going to be spicy. The texture is fun. It's different because usually you don't get the soft type. You don't have that crunch that comes with the texture. And the texture of rice. Of these, you know, kind of the spicy tuna. <laughs> so that's fun. That's a really fun texture. Spicy? No. No? Probably okay. good. So rich, right? Flavorful. The texture is so unique too. Nice. That's the belly. The belly for me is the best, best part of the tuna. The chicken. Uh, uh, yes. yes. Like this is what part of the experience. I mean, you know. Come visit us. This was an awesome experience to be back here. See the tuna get cleaned up and the preparations. So I really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you so much for your time and your whole staff to do this. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Yeah, there's no, there's no ice, right? So like you can like, like you can trust your edge so much more than you can. Thank you. All right. Well, that's our plane to go home. Thanks to the crew at Saltwater Sportsman. And we'll see you guys in that next video. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Everybody at Crocodile Bay. And uh, thanks for watching. Just check the video's description, links, everything used. And yeah. Till next time. Thanks to everybody.